Hey there everybody, Maria Marquis here, and in this video we're going to talk about how you can combine all the things we've chatted about so far to create a custom bespoke dashboard for every person on your team. This is one of the things I love the most about formulas, is you can visualize them and make them come alive so it really feels responsive and personalized. So let's take a look at some of the ways that I've done it here in this dashboard. The first thing we have is a formula. Hey, Maria Marquis, how'd it know? How'd it know it was me? Well, because of a formula. If we right click on that, I said, hey, Coda, say whoever the user is looking at this and convert their name to text. So we see, hey, Maria Marquis. But if you were in this, it would say your name right there. The next thing we have is also personalized based on formulas. It's this handy little progress bar, letting me know that I'm 25% complete on my tasks. So let's right click on that progress bar. And notice here in the value area, we said, hey, Coda, I want you to round the following number, which is look at the all tasks table, filter where the owner is equal to whoever is looking at this doc, the user, and the status is currently done. Then I want you to count those. Divide that by the total number of tasks that owner has. So we can see I'm 25% complete, but if I were to finish another one of my tasks down here, Notice it's now 50% complete, that beautiful immediate cause and effect. The next thing I've done is I've used callouts with formulas inside to help me even further understand what my work is. So showing me all of my past due tasks, which if I right click on that, it's saying, Coda, look at the all, uh, the all launch tasks, filter by the user, and then where the status is not done and it was due before today, then just make a bulleted list. I could do the same thing of what's due today by saying equals, look at that all launch tasks, then I want to filter where the owner is equal to the user, so whoever's looking at this, and the due date is equal to today, and then I want to have a bulleted list. So now I can see everything immediately that needs my attention. And remember, because we're using that user formula, everything is customized to whoever is looking at this. And it's all powered by this one table, the launch table. Everything comes from there, including down at the bottom, these handy little charts. These are just views of that all launch table. We have it filtered by the marketing team and how they're doing, as well as the product team and how they're doing. Now, if I wanted to, I could add another chart by just typing slash chart. I'm gonna have it be pi. And now I'm gonna have it be powered by that all launch table, just like everything else in this doc. And here I'm going to choose that I want the category to be owner. So how everybody is doing, how many tasks everybody has. And I can change the colors here and also change the display, but this feels really good to me. And now I can just move this around because if I don't want kind of the Mickey Mouse here of the two little pie charts and the one big one, I could just grab the little handle over here and move it around to wherever I want it to be. Now we've got those all side by side so we can see how we're doing. But again, we could move this wherever we wanted to and also change the sizing just by adjusting the columns, right? If I wanted to make one bigger or smaller, you can do that however you like. So now it's your turn. Take a look at your docs. Think about what you want, might wanna make available to every single person on your team to help them focus and also have that really bespoke experience. Try it out and I'll see you next time. Bye.